And we are back. Welcome back to Grounded. My name is Lagan, and today we're going to be doing some tiny adventuring because we are tiny, but also because we we need to go on some small adventures today. Look, I went ahead and made the outline for the oven, and those four coal chunks shouldn't be as hard to get as I thought they were going to be hard to get. There's some in the new section of the yard, which was really worrying me that we were going to have to go over there. Uh, but there's some in another place that should be a lot less dangerous. Hey. I want to start out by showing you guys the uh, smoothie station because we haven't done it yet. So listen up. This is good stuff here. Uh, these are all of our recipes that we've unlocked so far. Fuzz on the rocks is going to be pretty good. It's going to heal us and it's going to give us a little bit of bonus to our max health as well. If you remember from the last episode, we got these muscle sprouts here. And then we've always had this grub goop from killing the gr grubs. You can use either one of these as a base for your smoothie to go along with the ingredients required for the actual smoothie but if you use these muscle sprouts you're going to get extra meaty bonus health so it'll give us a bigger max health so we're going to craft a couple of these let's craft like two of them because today we are going to be running into some wolf spiders and it might be helpful to have some extra heals on us also it might be helpful to have this liquid rage which is going to give us plus attack bonus so we're going to use we're going to make one of those too Use our muscle sprout with that. Maybe two of those as well. And bada boom, bada bam. Watch your feet. No bridge. Okay, so our first tiny adventure takes us back over to the hedge. Ooh, spider ahead. Let's go deal with this spider first, and then I'll show you what we're doing. Hey, Mr. Spider. Oh, there's two. Okay, well, you know what? There's three, actually. All right, maybe stealth is the key here. Or running. We'll just sprint. Sprint for our lives. Let's do that. Here we go. We're sprinting for... Okay, everything's fine. Oh, God. Let's get to the lab. Get to the broken, fallen down lab. There's like... Um, these little labs right here. They fell down from the hedge bush. And you can find raw science and I think a milk molar or two. I've pretty much cleared them out already. But if you're playing along at home, definitely come back over here and check out this area. Good stuff. But yeah, right up against this brick wall. Now, the other side of this brick wall is where the hedge lab is, but... There is something kind of cool over here, and I wanted to show you guys, because this game is filled with all kind of just weird stuff. And I think that later on when the story's done, some of this stuff will make sense. I don't even know if we need the story to help us make this part make sense. Let me put on my helmet. It is dark. Prepare yourselves for pure horror. All right. Would you look at this? A bunch of ant effigies. But look, you get some free ant parts in here literally all over the place so if you're trying to make ant stuff and you don't feel like killing a bunch of ants come over here and just snag up some of these ant parts all right so this is weird right bunch of ant effigies and then and then there's this i don't know what to tell you all right i don't know what to tell you maybe this note will tell us something let's see that note is the recipe for your ant totem so you can build these around your base and they're supposed to keep ants away, but they actually don't work at all. But it's a cool decorative piece to have around your base. Maybe once the full release is here, they will actually do what they're supposed to do. But for now, they don't actually do anything. And then look, a rotten ant club. So if you're looking for the recipe for the ant club, for some reason you haven't gotten it unlocked, you can pick that up and go research it and get the recipe. And also back here, there's a tent. And I wanted to say there was something else back here, but maybe they moved that. I think it was a backpack with the recipe for the ant club, which is now over here. So it looks like some survivor didn't quite survive. Level five crossbow, crow feather hat, plus I now have feather arrows, which do more damage than the regular arrows. So let's see how many shots it takes to kill this mosquito that's sleeping right now. Let's put in our feather arrows and let's give him a shot here. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think three will do it. One more ought to do it. Don't you do it, bud. Ow. Yeah, that's great, though. That's great. He did get a little stab on me, though. Oh, hey, friend. Well, 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 well. You're not the one that used to kill me all the time, but you're going to do just the same. We need boiling glands for the oven. And I'm pretty sure these are the guys that drop them. Bombardiers. Let's say hello. Oh, he didn't seem to care about my arrow at all. Here he comes. Here he comes. Of course, here comes all the mites, too. See, I don't feel bad about using my crossbow against this guy. He doesn't feel cheap at all because he's shooting, he's shooting like acid at me. Oh, we got a boiling gland. That's good. We need four of them. What in the heck is behind me? Oh, it's mites. Of course, of course it's mites. When is it not mites? 
Where, where are you? Oh, there's two more. There's one more now. There are no more now. We need four boiling glands. Wait, there's always more. What am I thinking? Of course. Hey, get out of here. Hear more. I hear more still. Here's one. Dead. I saw another bombardier somewhere. Let's get him. Hey, another mic. Of course. I mean, really. Got something. Oh, two of them, eh? Oh, yeah, let's go. You ain't getting me. You ain't getting me. First, first time we came across one of these dudes, they wrecked us. This bow is incredible. We didn't get a we didn't get a boiling gland that time. We're gonna have to keep trying. Here's the third one. Here's the third one. This is where you and I part ways. Oh wait, one more, one more. Dead. Now, boiling gland, please. No. Of course not. Wonderful. All right. Well, we'll find more. I know where more of these guys live. So I wanted to come over here because we haven't discovered human food yet. And there is human food in the game. And right here is a giant cookie. And we could break this open. And I'm pretty sure human food is used in... Well, you can just eat it. Uh, but it's also going to give us... I'm pretty sure a new smoothie once we... Good lord, it's a cookie. Would it break already? There it goes. <laughs> Look at that. A giant cookie for these two little cookie shards. One, two. I think if we research the cookies or something, we'll probably get a new smoothie. Because that's what they're used for primarily. Well, I think I found it. Yeah, I was looking for this. All right. Another little tiny adventure for us. This, I'm pretty sure Wolf Spider lives here. But have you ever heard of a Stretch Armstrong? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. It's called Yoked Look, Girth Head. It's an original 1982 Yoked Girth action figure. That's what I just said, well, Pete. Well, some of them, anyway. Yeah, it's it's an action figure, but it's just the head. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a wolf spider that lives here. We're probably gonna have to put on my helmet so I can see what we're doing. Now. And then I say let's pop this uh, fuzz on the rocks, or what's what's one liquid rage? Pop that. Liquid rage should give us some better attacks here. Let's just go inside of his den. Tell him it's time to move out. Oh, it's not a wolf spider. Oh, there's a wolf spider and two orb weaver. No, one orb weaver. Oh god. <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I forgot. I forgot to do something. I forgot to do something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Everything's fine. Okay. Chill. Chill. I'll deal with you in a second. Look. Look. I forgot. Let's take off this. And let's put on this. And this will make it where I can't get poisoned by the wolf spider. So it's a little more of a fair fight. A little more of a fair fight. Except my stamina sucks. Yeah, I'm stuck on something. Come on. Oh no, there's a second wolf spider just showed up. Oh, and I'm in a web. Oh no, it's the orb weaver. Okay. Alright, everything's fine. Let's see what it's hiding inside of its layer. It may come back though. I'm hoping there's a milk bowler in here. There's not. Some raw science and a scabby. Okay, well, that wolf spider got lucky that it ran off and that I wasted my liquid rage. Oh my god, another wolf spider. Let us destroy him. It destroyed wolf spider. Come on, let's fight. Let's fight. Yeah, I'm missing my... Oh my god, it's so awkward in here. Now you're gonna die in a minute. Now we have a real problem. My food is at the point where I can only get half stamina now. And we're in the middle of a fight with a wolf spider. This sucks. This is not ideal. All right, I'm gonna drink my smoothie, I think. Yeah, yeah, we just got a big heal boost, so that's nice. But I can't get the third hidden on him. Because I can't get full stamina. Oh my god, oh no, oh. Oh, that was a good block. I don't believe you. Did he break my helmet? Dude, stop. No, no. What a disaster. I totally could have beaten him if I had food because I couldn't get my stamina. We would have definitely killed him. I couldn't do a single three hit combo on him. Going back to ranged attacks. Wake up. All right, wait, 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 wait. Ow, ow. I forgot to put back on my mutation that keeps me from getting poisoned. All right, this is not starting out great. I think we can outlive the poison, though. Don't worry about it. Here, I'll just put on a bandage. Should fight. It should fight the poison. 
Enjoy your internal slumber. There we go. That's how we get even. That's how we get even. Now, we're coming up to the back porch of the house here, and I'm pretty sure I remember there being a milk molar back here somewhere. So let's just see if we can find it. Because I want more milk molars. I did buff a few things. I found some milk molars since our last episode. And I now have a little bit more, I think, health. And I've got more backpack stacks, you know what I mean? And I can activate four mutations at once. Oh, of course, there's another wolf spider. And of course, there is a milk molar behind him. But I bet if we're really sneaky, we won't even wake the wolf spider up. Let's try that technique. Let's <laughs> see how this goes. I guess the real test will be when I start bashing this thing right next to the spider. There's no way he doesn't wake up. Maybe I should put on that mutation where I don't get poisoned. Let's see how it goes, though. Ooh, he's a heavy sleeper. Milk molar's mine. Enjoy your nap, dude. I'll leave you be. I'll check it out. More human food. Let's get it before the ants do. Uh, we got another cookie here. We'll bash that. Hey, knock it off. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Now, the wolf spider that killed us earlier unfortunately broke my headlamp. But I don't know how well we're going to be able to see in here at all. It does look like it lightens up a little bit as we're going through. Let's see how the opening of this... Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. Maybe we can get the... Oh, God. Maybe... Yeah, I see it. I see it. See if we can get it to come outside. Come on out and play, Wolf Spider. Oh my god. Do you see my health right now? Do you even see my health? Alright, 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 alright. Jeez. They hit so fast, it's impossible to time their blocks. It's so hard to time these blocks. Triple hit. Triple hit. Master three out of three. Yeah, that's like a five hit combo. It's insane. Did you think this was a game, Wolf Spider? That I wasn't gonna come back? You totally cheese my way? Huh? Is that what you thought was gonna happen? I just want y'all to know the reason I lost that last fight with the Wolf Spider is because I was wearing my crow feather hat instead of my ladybug helmet. All right, that's the only reason. It's the truth. Honest. All right. All right, I made a torch. We can see what's in here now. So let's go see what's in here. There better be something good in here because I'm tired of getting killed by wolf spiders. I'm sick of it. Well, I don't see another spider in here, so I think we're clear. Uh, but all I see in here is 500 raw. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Another mega, another milk molar. Got it. Okay, for our next mini adventure, I'm pretty sure there's a wolf spider den over here somewhere that I want to clear out. I've got to find it though. I think I can find it. I feel like there's a lot, and I mean a lot of mites chasing me right now. But we're just going to keep running from them. Ooh, a dead bombardier. Let's see if it gives us the uh, boiling sack. It did not. Where is the spider den at? I can't find it. It's around here somewhere ish, or nowhere around here at all. Ooh, I think I found it straight ahead. Of course, we're in the haze, so this is just terrible all the way around. Plus, we have to deal with another god-awful wolf spider. Yeah, down here. Here we go. And we're in here now. All right, we can't get back out until we go all the way through, I don't think. What in the heck is this? Are we in a grave? I think we're in a grave. This must be like the family dog or something like that. Maybe? Maybe? Hopefully not an entire person was buried down here. Because uh, if that's the case, we got some more questions that we need answered besides us being shrink. Uh, there we go. There's some gum, but I can't get it without a level two shovel. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's it right here. So we got to cross this little pit right here. I'm pretty sure it's just water. That's all it is. Anything in the water to grab? Doesn't look like it. All right, up we go. Further into the den we go. And listen, I'm not trying to make excuses for why I keep dying, but a fair warning, uh, my leggings and my chest plate are about to break. So if, if in the slightest chance the next wolf spider kills us, you'll know why. It wasn't my fault. It's the armor's going to break. It's its fault. Oh, he just woke up. You don't see me. 
it's easy. Oh my god, we're running, we're running, we're running for our lives. You know, I'm starting to think that there's nothing here except for the raw science we already picked up. And a ton of these web sacks and spider webs if you need that. And I think this wolf spider is literally guarding the exit. And that's all that's going on down here. But there is a glow right here, so this usually means there's some raw science or something. I'm not really sure I'm going to get past this dude. Maybe we should just sprint for it. We're going to sprint for it. Here goes nothing. Excuse me. It woke up. It woke up. I'm smarter than you are. I'm smarter than you don't know where I went. You don't know where I went. You don't know where I went. That worked. That worked. Let's not do that again. All right. One of the ingredients for the oven was clay. I've got clay. So let's go ahead and add that. Two more ingredients to go. Did I show you guys my new zip line? Let's check it out. So this will take us over to the middle of the koi pond where I set up some of those buoyant foundations that we unlocked from the last episode. And I've got this cool uh, tower here. So we can actually zip line over here, which we're going to do right now. And we can research those apple and cookie bits that we found. And I'm pretty sure it's going to unlock the recipe for the smoothie that gives us extra defense. So let's go ahead and do that now. Yeah, it's called human food. I am pretty sure that's the one that gives you the defensive buff. Then I've got a zip line that'll take us right back home. Right to the floating dock. Oh, did I show you the floating dock yet? I also added some buoyant foundations right here at the bottom of our dock. So we got the right trajectory and we can get home from the uh, scanner back there that we just used. Then we just climb up the ladder and we are here. You can't build on these lily pads. I tried. It wouldn't. It would let you build some stuff, but not everything. So I couldn't build stairs. So I couldn't build my tower on one of these lily pads. Otherwise, I would have. So these buoyant foundations are kind of necessary, I guess, if you want to do some water building. But I also forgot to show you, while we're here, if we go all the way to the tippy 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 top, this I am hoping will take us to the new area of the yard, the upper lawn. I think it's called. We can set up a, a zip line all the way over there and anchor. And zip line down to the lower upper yard and then get to the upper upper yard where all the new content is over there but for now i want to show you another secret let's go okay we're under the uh the yellow leaf here and there should be a tunnel aha what do we got in this tunnel more ant effigies let's just keep going i don't know what it is about this person that was in this backyard ant heads on sticks they loved it tunnel should open up somewhere wow there's a lot of them right here it open up back here somewhere. Here we go. Even more ant effigies. More, more. They're everywhere. Just everywhere. And then here we go. And then unfortunately, there's some sort of textural glitch happening here. But this is what we're looking for. There's like this bug creature right here. And I accidentally picked up the recipe. There's a recipe laying right next to it you can pick up. And then you can learn how to make one of those yourself. My torch is already dead. I just built it before coming in the tunnel. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am, there's some stink bugs over here guarding some hot coals. So I think we can get these hot coals from over here. At least this is where they used to be before the update, and I'm pretty sure they are still here. Yeah, I think I see one, actually. And it's not even, it's not even next to the stink bugs. All right. I think we need four coals. I don't know how many of these they drop when you break them open. And it doesn't look like we're going to get burned either, which is great. So this might work out really well for us, too. So we are going to get the four we need. Yes. Also, while we're over here, I happen to know that there is, yeah, Bombardier over here. I was just looking for you, bud. And we still need three more of those boiling glands. Oh, there's two here. That's even better. Let's take one out with a bow and arrow, and then we'll fight the other one with our club. Let's go, Bombardier. I'm not, I don't have on my, uh crow feather hat right now because I've just died too many times today. I want full armor on. All right. I've had enough of the deaths. Come here. I mean, I haven't died once yet. Actually, that was my fault. It was the game's fault in, in extenuating circumstances. It wasn't because the bugs are better than me. No way. All right. That's one of them down. And then you and me, we're going to do a little dance for him. Ow. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, God, you bite. You bite. Oh, someone's a dizzy boy. Yeah. Nice. Much, much better. We got a boiling land. All right, cool. Oh, we got a barbarian uh, mutation up to level three now. So you'll see the screen turning red more often when I'm swinging with a club, putting me into uh, rage mode. Check it out. Two boiling lands. So we've got one back at the house, too. So that's three. We need one more. 
There we go. All right, boiling gland, please, please. Yes, that's all of them. That's all of them. We can actually build the oven now. All right, four charcoal chunks and four boiling glands. Done, there it is. We've got ourselves an oven. If we go in it, the only recipe we currently have is this mushroom bricks, which requires mushroom slurries to make. If we want to make the mushroom slurries, I guess I've got to make a, uh, what is it even called? A grinder. And that's what it looks like when it's done. If we go in here, we can make a plant slurry, and this is used for taming aphids and weevils, I think. And then the mushroom slurry, we got three different types of mushrooms. Mushroom chunks, toadstool chunks, and mushrooms. And you can make a slurry out of those. I have some mushroom, uh, some toadstool chunks, so just throw those in there. Those will cook up. Oh, you can also put weed stems in here, and grass planks, and clover leaves. And you can make plant fibers out of that, which then you can turn into rope over here on these. Ooh, what do I have in here? I forgot. Oh, yeah, I was making some webs. I was making webs. When you stare down the barrel, it sticks to the screen, the little mushroom pieces. That's pretty cool. All right, it's morning, and all the uh, the mushroom slurries are done. So we can take these out. And then we can stick them in here. I'm going to put uh, four of them in there because I want to go. I want to go research one of them. Now, would it be faster to swim over there or go under there to do our researching? Yes. But would it be this fun? Nope. So we got the recipes for the uh, the abomination totem and the ant head totems. So I figure might as well put them in the yard somewhere. Okay, that's Dante. Hey, Dante. Aren't you hideous? You're part larva, part red ant, part water boatman. Part bombardier. Those are bombardier legs, water boatman arms, ant head, larva back. That's terrifying. I think we can make it look a little cooler, though. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of mushroom build stuff. This is exactly what we need. We can do some upgrade. Hey, a pet house and pet helmets. That's right. We get pets now, too. Oh, well, 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 well. I unlocked my level nine of my brain power and just learned the black ant armor set. It's a good armor set, too. So we might have to start killing some black ants pretty soon. We'll add some acorn parts, too. There we go. Check out our new door. It's like a hobbit door. Yes. I got to do the whole bottom half of the house in mushroom, though. And then I think it's time to add a second floor to this because we got to put a bed somewhere. We got to put an armor stand somewhere. We got to put weapon stand somewhere. We could do trophies and stuff like that as well. And some, some nice uh, framed art. So we need a second floor to this base. So I think on the next episode, you'll see a big difference to how the base looks. All right, before we go, here's Dante now. I think he looks cooler. He needed some backlighting, that's all. High five, Dante. Thanks for hanging out today. Thank you guys for watching the video today as well. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.